I know everyone always says it's like a gumbo, but the cool thing about New Orleans is that everyone that shows up at this port city leaves something great here. They add their flavor to our city, and we all become New Orleanians. There's no like Little Italy or Chinatown. Even though we have a French Quarter, it's everyone. We all come together and we mix in together, and we keep evolving the cuisine that is New Orleans. My name is Michael Galata. I am the chef partner of Mofo Restaurant and Maypop Restaurant here in New Orleans, Louisiana. I came from fine dining, and Maypop is a little bit more of a foray back into that. Maypop is more the entire Mekong Delta meets the entire Mississippi Delta. So there's a lot more that we play with, with my ocean cuisine and Thai cuisine, and we, we mix all that in, and we, and we bring a lot more of, of my training from across the Gulf South. So getting to be on the Whistlepig Farm was gorgeous, being out in the, in the country in Vermont. What I think was amazing about that process was how much it is curated, from finding really good barrels to knowing your history of each barrel as it comes to you, knowing if where you got it from aged the wood properly, if the people who had whatever spirit in before, whether it be port or sherry, were treating those barrels with respect, and so when you get them they are still in a great pristine condition and they're ready to leach out those flavors that you want. So the first course is gonna be slow smoked duck ham. Really rich, nice, good fat layer on there. Putting it over a salad of sweet potato latkes with early season roasted apples. And then we make a little horseradish and coconut milk ravigot sauce that we put down below. The, the, the apple, the sweetness of the sweet potato, the smokiness of the duck ham. I think those are all gonna play well into the blend that we came up with. For our second course, doing a pork belly char siu, basically like barbecued pork belly. It's been brined for two days and then slow roasted till it's nice and caramelized. Putting that over an olive and almond sticky rice. And then we are topping that with a mostarda made with muscadine grapes. Our dessert is gonna be a play on Boulevardier, which is one of my favorite cocktails and typically is made with rye. And so it's gonna be a Campari ice cream, a malted cheesecake, a little vermouth sauce, and then we're making a cookie crumble out of rye flour and then finishing that with some cured citrus. So it's like all the flavors of a Boulevard Yeh, so it'll be feel perfect with the rye.